Oh, you understand? We always knew what we needed to do ahead of time because we always planned and planned and planned, tried to execute. You're not always going to execute the perfect plan that you set out for yourself, but as close as possible what you can achieve, that's what you need to set out for yourself. But long story short, we never had formality, you know what I mean? It's just basically highlighting each one's skill set, you know what I mean? Muffin's a producer and a, and a DJ is a, is a tactician, you understand? We're not going to expect him to go get bookings, you understand? I'm more of an admin guy, so that'll be more my role to events, etc. Leroy had a passion for music, so he, he went that route. Uh, youngster on the other side, music 100%. Um, but yeah, they don't, they, you need it as much as you need a team. Don't be too fussy about, hey, okay, I am this guy. Because people too, worry too much about titles. You understand? Like people, are, oh, you're, young, you're youngster's manager. No, but I'm just from YG. <laughs> like this is what we do, you know? Because in Cape Town, the, the stigma attached to titles, people love titles. You know what I mean? Like, fuck the title. Oh, sorry, excuse my language. Yeah, like, you know, fuck the title. Like, just do what you need to do, you know? Like, people perceive me like, ah, oh, Jerry is this business guy. But people don't know. I'm still sitting on WhatsApp to time, time trying to sell our merchandise. You understand? I'm still doing, find myself doing th things outside of my portfolio or things that I need to do. You understand? Don't tie yourself down to a title and, oh, who's who in the zoo? Eventually, we'll get to that point. It took us seven years to get to a point to establish on a corporate level where we need, who's going to do what and what direction we need forward on. Head forward on, you understand? Okay. I just got a... I know one more. Uh, we'll take one more there, then we need, really need to move into the session. We've got amazing acts on stage. We'll still be here. You can talk to us afterwards as well. So, very, Chief, is it a quick one? Yeah. Very quick one, then we're moving to the topic. Okay, awesome. Hi there, my name is Jason. Um, maybe some of you know me as the drum kid. Maybe you haven't. I currently play for the Butler Band, Jonathan Butler's family. Um, yes, thank yes. Thank you. Um, so, I, in December last year, I started my own brand called J-Square Productions. What advice do you have for me searching for unknown artists, which I currently have one? I, okay, I know these big names and stuff like that, but I mainly focus on the underprivileged, um, looking for unknown talent, basically, and how to expose them. What advice do you have for me as a beginner in this game of starting my own brand? How do I get out there? Yeah. Uh, on my side, like as I'm sitting here, I literally only know of one event that's happening out there, and that is actually the problem number one. There's not enough platforms for for up and coming emerging artists. Um, I mean, what's what's your name, brother? Jean. I mean, I've noticed this guy at Real Art Wednesdays out at the loft. You know, um, it's it's a hub of talent. So shout out to Ro. Yeah, yeah, shout out to Ro. My best advice to you is if you want to pull in emerging um, artists or unknown artists, you're not going to find them anywhere in Cape Town because there's only one event throughout the entire city. Rather create your own platform to put them on stages, you understand? So rather create your own open mic. That's where you'll bring the artists. Else it's going to take you years and days to be like, yo, how many real art Wednesdays out there? How many open mics are there? Youngster actually comes out of um, Purple Turtle Open Mic Monday nights. If it wasn't for that platform, Youngster wouldn't have been on the stage. It was his first stage that he was been on. You understand? So create your own platform to recruit these guys that you want to work with. Okay. Thank you. Uh, we're going to move through to the next uh, few questions. Shout out to KZ. We see you. Tall one in the building. He's late, but anyway... It's on the grind, two to, no, 2 to 4, Monday to Friday. Hit show, Saturday morning, 9 to 12. Okay, no shameless no plug, promoting. but anyway, let's move on. Uh, <laughs> okay, uh, I'm going to skip this one because we're very limited in terms of time. And I uh, spoke to the panelist, and yeah, they don't like that one. Okay, so the next one we're going to go to is the... Yo, hey, <laughs> the Democra... Hey? You are not D alone on that one, dog. That's why I left it to you. I kept quiet for a while for a the reason. Democratization. Yeah. See, that's that parliament stuff. You know how to read that. Yeah, democratization of music discovery. Once DJs told us, uh, told us what to like, now our friends do, or we discover it ourselves and share the news. How does the change? How does that change how music is marketed? 
Yeah, you understand that one? That was a, how can I say, you know, interpretation of a president right there. Shout out to you, Tabo, for that one. <laughs> okay, did everyone get that question? Okay, let's, you know what? Let's, wait, 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 wait. Ah, point of order. Wait, guys. So, hey, you should, we don't recognize you. Let's, let's, let's leave the demo or whatever. Listen to the question. Let's start again. Let's start again. Once, once, order, remember, oh shit, wrong gig. Once DJs told us what to like, now our friends do, or we discover the music ourselves and share the news. How does that change how music is marketed? Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Do you guys get that? I think, I think for me, that question feeds, feeds back to the points that have been discussed and mentioned here. Mm. You know? I think it's just obviously a fancier way of putting that. And probably we can go into detail in terms of what's our take on that. But the world is shifting, you know. Um, the culture is shifting. And let me let, let those guys finish. It's done. Are we? Sure. No worries, man. Um, so I think as the culture is shifting, how the consumer consumes will change. And, and how we distribute music will change. That's why for us it's important to first influence the people around you and, f and to make them aware of what you do. So if, for instance, in my own street they don't know my DJ, there's a problem. You know? I think if you ask for a DJ in that street, they need to say, that dude. You know? So whatever music or sound that I put out, you know, will be influenced by the immediate circle, because they give the feedback. I improve based on what they tell me, you know, how they consume it, how they respond to it. So, so once upon a time, as they said, that the DJs were the tastemakers, I think people now on the ground, people in the influences, are the tastemakers, are the guys who decide what's cool and what's not. They've got the power to buy or influence sounds and brands and everything like that. So that's why for me it's important to respect them to build a following amongst your circle, cater to that, respond to their needs, refine, go back to the train board, build again, refine, go back to the train board, and grow your market and grow with them as well. Because they in turn become your brand ambassadors. They then in turn in that space and their genre become opinion leaders as well. You know? So make sure that you've got your soldiers, you've got your army. Once you've got your army intact, then obviously music will be consumed that way and just cater to that. That's, that's my take. Really. Like home, like home. You know, Gom started in Durban. Uh, it's, now it's everywhere. It's viral. I was I was playing Gom in Doha last month. I, I couldn't even see them. They were wearing stuff, but they were dancing to Gom. <laughs> you know, but my, uh, no, honestly, it's music. It's music. You know, it's a, the power of music. You know, you might not even understand the lyrics, but if something is good, it's good. You know, so make sure that you start ground up, and just take feedback and grow with it. Yeah, I think it's it's a really sort of good. I think it's more question than a statement, or it's an epiphany or aha moment, as Oprah would say. It's like the reality is that you don't need mainstream media, as we as we said, to get out there. We don't need radio or TV. Like the people around you, uh, they they are the ones that sort of influence what. What, what, what we listen to, etc. Yeah. You know, so like embrace that and, and, and use that in the best way that you, 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 you can. Uh, I think we said in the beginning, don't look towards sort of traditional and mainstream media, etc. Okay. So, oh. No, no, no. I'm done. I was going to say, let's hit parting um, blows. Yeah, another thing I've been noticing, it's been an ongoing debate for literally years and quite a few industry folk could agree with me um, with the whole debate of Cape Town and Joburg and how the industry are, the industries are like miles apart, you know. Like, yes, the industry is miles apart because 90% of South Africa's media sits in Johannesburg, you understand. Uh, was back to, it's a simple, pro look, there is no right way in this industry, I believe. You know, my strategy and all the guys' strategies here on the panel is completely different. Uh, we are, everyone has a formula that what, what, which works for themselves, you know. So create your own formula, create your own brand, create your 
stay true to yourself and just work on it every day. You understand? There is no right way in this industry. You can work and feed off everyone's formulas, everyone else's successes. Pick up tips here, pick up tips over there. Um, so yeah, straight up, there's no rules in this industry really. Um, however, there are certain guidelines in which you are obliged to follow um, in certain facets of the industry. But in terms of the whole Cape Town, Joba kind of a thing, that is bullshit. The only thing I agree with, yes, the media sits there. We don't have much media here in Cape Town, but that can't be the setback. You understand? Because people, people, people in Cape Town, every day I hear it. Oh, no, it's Cape Town. It's Cape Town. Boom. Oh, no, that guy went to Joburg. Oh, he's a sellout to Joburg. You understand? It can't be like that. I mean, the, like so Vincent said it best. I mean, the world is your market. You understand? Uh, don't just focus on the year, the now, and Cape Town or Joburg. You understand? Focus globally and don't let... I don't know, stereotypes, um, even this, sometimes also there's a, a demographic challenge as well, how to break into other markets. The best way to break into another market is to work with people in other markets. You understand? Um, Vincent and I were chatting about it early on, and it's long overdue that markets start collabing with each other to grow the industry in Cape Town. It's not that everyone needs to go to Johannesburg just because the media is there. No. Do enough over here in Cape Town. Work with more people here in Cape Town, and together we can build something. That's not about, oh, AKA did it like this, I need to follow that route. No, everyone has a different formula. Even for you, the up and coming, you're going to have your own formula, which is different to the guys that's in the so called mainstream, and those are still up and coming. Um, but uh, yeah, chief, this, this chief. debate can go on forever, so yeah, I'll just leave it at getting that. comes from the Madam Speaker that we like must wrap up soon. <laughs> so what we'll do is we'll take like literally one more, co I mean one more question, one question, and then literally just closing jabs from everyone, and then yeah, we are here for most of the night, as I said, so you can come speak to us individually. Don't speak to me. Yeah, the industry leaders. And then, as I said, we've got amazing acts on, on, on stage as well. So, last uh, one question. First one that gets here. Take the opportunity to come here. Good evening, everyone. Um, the name is Hein. Just to the panelist quickly. Um, earlier on, you mentioned social media quite significantly and tech as well. So what I want to know is from a uh, youngster side, servants and from you as well, when you approach uh, social media or tech or anything along tech lines to promote your business or brands, you know, do you like do it formally or just randomly? Uh, secondly, like you mentioned earlier on, the media is, is in Johannesburg. Uh, one question. Yeah. Is it, <laughs> it's the same question. It's, it's the same question. But, but I heard a comma there. I heard a comma. Uh, it wasn't a full stop, it was a comma. Okay. Yeah. So basically, how, how do you guys use uh, tech to promote, you know, uh, youngster, your business, events, and so forth, optimally? Look, to be quite honest, even with social media, um, I have no technical or digital background. So to answer your question, there is no correct formula. No one said, here's the blueprint for social media in order to push your brand. Um, social media, it's much easier these days. You can spend money on social platforms to get a bigger reach. Um, I don't always condone that because an organic growth is much better, you know. I uh, must pay. Uh, I pay. No, no, no. Organic pay. Now, now and then, now and then. <laughs> so um, there is no actual correct formula, you know. I mean, we come from the days in the industry where social media just started kind of a thing, you know. Twitter came the other day. Instagram came the other day, you know. So we were in the industry before all these platforms came around. And obviously, with digital age, we need to adapt. You need to adapt with your times like every single day. There is no formula. There's no, you can't say, oh, yeah, we must post at 9 and then again at 2. Yes, there's those IT guys that will give you those exact figures. But uh, just on my side, the way we operate, it's, there is no digital platform plan, however there's a schedule, we know when we want to post certain things, but there's no strategy behind it in terms of, oh, it needs to be this because of Facebook alg algorithms, Instagram likewise, Twitter likewise. It's whatever you content that you have, get it out there. The, the more content that you have, the better. If you, you can't be a brand and only post on your platforms once a week. You need to be at it every single day. And don't judge your 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 post online 
um, like so I, like now and then we also get a bad response on certain posts. We don't think technically, oh, why did this get bad posts? Was, was it the time? Was it this? Etc. Yes, eventually we'll get to that level, you know, once we talk in big corporates where people can give us feedback, oh no, it's because you posted at 3 o'clock, that's why. Um, but since day one, there has been no rules of social media. Um, my side, I go with the gorilla format, you know. If it means I must tag you 10 times a day, I'll tag you 10 times a day. If I'm going to see you at the event, that means my job was done. You know what I mean? If you bought the album, my job was done. It, it does, that does not answer the fact, oh, how I've done it on social media. Just do you. Do what you need to do. You okay. Know? Nice one. Nice one, Chief. Uh, parting shots. We literally have two minutes. So closing, closing comments. Um, closing comment. Just cool. First of all, uh, let's say thank you to Hunters for creating this cool opportunity. Thank you to you guys for coming through, you know. Shout out to the hunters in the building. We could have been anywhere right now. We could have been watching Generations. It's a thing of Wuzu, but he chose to be with us today. And we're not experts. We are not um, authority in all things music. We're just sharing what we know and want to learn from you guys as much. God bless you. Shab. Um. Yeah, and I was just from me personally, once again, thank you to Hunters, thank you to the guys for putting this together, and thank you for you guys for pulling through, to all the artists out there and DJs out there, talent in general out there in the audience. Best advice I can give you guys is that there is no rules. Just set your own plan that you think is right for yourself. Even me as I'm sitting here, every day I'm still learning. You know, I'm only 25, I don't know everything, you know, you understand? Stick to your plan, simple as that. You're going to learn along the way. You, you're going to meet new people. That's the only way. There is no rule to this industry. I do wish, however, that there could be more of these platforms to have to be on a weekly basis. Um, because, I mean, each of us individually get contacted by various people. Hence why we launch consultation aspects to our businesses, you understand, to reach out to people on an individual level. But stick to your plan, stick to your guns, and most importantly, it's all about the relationships. If you don't have the co-op, it's all about the relationships, straight up. Thank you for having me. Uh, I'd just like to say that I strongly believe that the talent lies in Cape Town. I've always felt that. Salute, and that's salute, why salute, salute, salute. I'm proud to be a part of the industry in Cape Town. One thing we do need to do is start working together, start communicating, start networking, start helping each other out. That is why Joburg will always be one heads up because you go there and two days later you're collaborating with somebody. We need to share the information and the knowledge and the advice that we have to grow our industry together. Thank you, Hunters. Thank you, everybody. Okay, my closing remarks are very simple. Like, fuck, we've got a room full of people that are interested in music. And, like, you came here to absorb some knowledge. I hope it was that and not for the free hunters. But in any case, we've got a room full of guys that are really interested. And that's what it's about. Like, you can't become a heart surgeon by just Googling, okay, heart surgeon. And then, you know, like, the reality is that you need to invest in your knowledge and understanding how the music industry works and the only way to do that is through like really just speaking to people networking and like yeah an element of googling you know uh, the other thing is that I wanted to say like close with your network is your net worth like I can guarantee you like most of you guys don't know each other and you're going to live like that when the reality is that as she said we really just need to start talking to each other and uh, facilitating working with one another and helping each other out. Like, it really confuses me how we always import, I love AKA, but AKA from Chobek, 120,000, yet we can't, like, work in terms of developing our own artists locally in Cape Town. Vince wants to book you, you say 150 still. You know, we really need to start developing our own stars. And the only way through, uh, to do that, I believe, is uh, through collaborations. So shout out again to Hunters. Uh, yeah, and don't forget to start something. We've got amazing acts coming up. Chief, what happened to your T-shirt? Hey, you see, you know, I'm struggling, you know, I'm out here. I'm struggling, you know, man. 
I'm struggling. The haircut, you couldn't even afford the whole haircut. You know what I mean? Like, I went to the homie, I told him just yeah. sides. Even <laughs> you know, beard, I couldn't trim here, dog. Just, just sides. Ah, uh, no. Nice Life's one. hard, my man. That's <laughs> why I get free shoes, you see. Life's <laughs> difficult for me. <laughs> nice one, bro. Anyway, thank you guys. And yeah, that's us signing out. It doesn't end here, my people. Shout out Lauren, Jerry, to Vincent, Tabo as well. Up next, we've got an amazing lady. She goes the name of Hunter Rose. I like that name. I like that name. The humble note visas approves of your name. But before we, we get her on stage and all her companions, it looks like she's got a whole team, a whole squad over there. Before we do that, I want to play an artist, actually. He's from Canada, America. He's